Hello YouTube, I hope you're doing well. In today's video, we're looking at code.org. We're at unit four, lesson three. As we look over this part, it tells us that we need to do a few things. The first thing is that we need to run the program to see how it works. And it tells us to note on line 14, the get text block. So let's go ahead and run the code. And that went through that slowly. Don't forget that we have our speed here. We can slow it down or we can speed it up if we need to. So now that we've run the code, we can see that. Let's go ahead and type a new reminder in. Feed the dogs is what we'll add. We'll click remind. And we can see that when we do that, it adds the reminder that we typed, but it doesn't add a return at the end of the first line. And as we look in here, it keeps the text that we just typed in there. As we read through what we need to do, we're going to see that we need to add a return to the end of the first line, and we need to clear out this text box so that it doesn't keep the old message. So let's go ahead and reset this. And to do this, it says that we need to add code so that each reminder is added to a different line on the screen. And it tells us to remember the new line character, which is the slash in. It then tells us to add code so that the reminder input is cleared out when you click the remind button. And then it tells us if we have any questions or we need a refresher that we can review the helps and tips, which can be found right here. Our first part of our attention needs to begin here on line 13 on this event. And specifically on line 15 is where we want to focus. So we're updating this right here, the all reminders. Because we're going to have our reminder, but what we need to do is add a return and then add in the new reminder. If your screen is not set up on block code and you have the show text, I would encourage you to switch it to the block code. It's okay to be in this section. Sometimes this is easier. So with our all reminders variable here, we're gonna edit this section right here. Within this math part that we have, we're gonna add another plus here to all reminders. So on our toolbox, let's click on the math section. I'm gonna click and drag this over to here. And when I did that, notice that my text disappeared. That's okay. Remember, we're updating this right here, all reminders. And you can type this out in the first section. I'm just going to select this and then do control V to set that. And remember, what we wanted to add for this first part is to add a return. So if I put my cursor in this next section, I'm going to do a quotation mark, the slash. Make sure you put the correct one there in and then notice I have a bunch of red markings still on my left hand side of my line numbers and it's because I have not put the quotation mark here at the end once I do that notice that it disappears let's go in and run our code and see what happens the reason that we want to run our code is to make sure that what we've done is correct and so if it doesn't work we can go back and fix it and we haven't spent a ton of time doing a bunch of steps and none of it working so we have the feed the cats. We said we were going to add the note feed the dogs. And we're going to click remind. And we can see that it did a return. It added the new line for our reminder. But notice here in this text box that we still have the old message. So let's reset our app again so that we can continue to edit the code. This time what we want to do is we want to set a different property. So let's go back to the UI controls. We're going to do set property. And I'm just going to click and drag that into our on event click. The benefit of using this block code instead of the show text is it gives you the drop down on some of these sections, which is going to be helpful to us. If you didn't know what you needed to edit, of course, you can highlight over here if the app's not running. But you also have this drop down here. And what we want to do is select reminder input. We want to change this here from width to text. And for this, we don't want any text. So I'm actually just going to delete this out. And it's just going to be two quotation marks with nothing inside of it. Let's go ahead and run our code again. We have feed the cats. We'll type in feed the dogs. Let's click remind. All right, so I added our new reminder. And notice that it cleared out this text box. 
I want to encourage you before you hit finish on this project that you go back, you go back to the version history and you go back to the start, start this all over again without the video helps. Remember, the reason you're doing this is not to get something right. The reason that you're doing this is because you're probably going to have to code a program for your AP exam. You need to know how to code these things by yourself without getting the answers fed to you. Again, would encourage you to reset the project and try and do it again without video helps until you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm.